Are you ready for dumb inception? <laughs> we saw hypnotic, so you know what that means. Los Angeles to talk about a movie that just came out a mere few weeks ago. As millions of people race to see Book Club 2, a handful of people scattered themselves into a theater to see Robert Rodriguez's Hypnotic, or Hypnotic, probably Hypnotic, and here is the plot. Uh, it's complicated. <laughs> I'll give you what maybe they would say on the poster. Ben Affleck is a sad cop trying to find his little girl who loves braids in her hair. <laughs> That's where it starts. It goes off the rails very quickly. <laughs> there's a bank robbery. There's a psychic. There's something called hypnotics. And there's something about Ben Affleck that allows the hypnotics not to affect him. Everyone's turning on everyone until the movie turns on us, the audience. <laughs> 95 minutes of twists and turns. Some people say you need to watch it again. And I say, why? <laughs> but we are going to break down every little twist, every little turn, and get to the bottom of why Ben Affleck does the Batman voice for 45 minutes. <laughs> but to help me break this down, I'm gonna need my co-host. Please welcome to the stage, which is Jason Manzoukas! <laughs> What's up, jerks? How we doing, Largo? Uh, holy cow. Watching a movie that asks, what if the sad Ben Affleck meme became a character in a movie? The only thing this movie is missing is a cup of Dunkin' Donuts I and a mean, pack of cigs. Truly, truly, he appears to be miserable in this movie. You know what? But you know who's never miserable with a twist and a turn? My other co-host, Miss June Diane Raphael! Hello, June. How are you? I'm okay. How are you, Paul? I'm well. Thank you for asking. June, I heard you laugh out loud while watching this movie. I, I just said to Jason backstage, and you said it earlier, you said hypnotics, and I want to spend roughly the next two hours just talking about the language that this movie the jargon landed wrote, on and has forced us to accept. The division. Well, you want to maybe yeah. talk about the, the constructs that make you see what the hypnotics want you to see, but some people have psychic locks. Yep. Yeah, which is obviously the, the hypnotics' worst nightmare. But wait a second. But, I guess this, but let's start here, though, because to be a hypnotic, is it that you are a hypnotist who's insane? No, it's as if you're a hypnotist who is... Whose power set is this? There is like a... Um, uh, I feel like there's an X-Man who has this power set. Basically, a hypnotic can just by saying it's hot in here without any previous post-hypnotic suggestion or anything, 
convince you it's hot, and so they have it's almost yeah, a superpower. But but no, but the hypnotics in this movie will say it's hot in here and not make you think it's hot, make you think that you are on fire and then cause a traffic accident. Like what they say one thing is like it's the afternoon. Well, quitting time. But like, well, what I'm trying like, oh. to understand though is what is the difference exactly between a hypnotist and a hypnotic? Okay. A hypnotist yes. needs a buy-in from the person to, like, they're going to give you a suggestion. They need to work with you prior. Prior to what? Well, like, <laughs> like you would have to be open to it. Hypnotic, I think the idea of a hypnotic is... Oh, you mean you have to have consent. It's like you have to have enthusiastic consent. Or So this movie is like the Manchurian Candidate, right? Except the Manchurian Candidate needs to be reduced to nothing, built back up, and then given a trigger word that they then are are then in the thrall of somebody else. But in this movie, William Fickner can just be like, go kill that guy. And you're like, okie doke. No, William William Fickner could go like this. Your suit jacket's tight. Then the guy back. Like, I'm gonna go kill that guy. Yeah. Like it never, it never was the direct thing. I see what you're saying. So, it was like so you got the wrong no, guy. I see what you're saying. So you you're saying that if a hypnotist wanted that to happen, a hypnotist would have to work for multiple sessions. Oh, a very long on time. On that trigger, a hypnotist is doing something. This, a hypnotic is like the superhero version of a hypnotist. Okay, so it's not like, oh, I'm a psychologist and I'm working through your trauma, no, and no. then now I'm a psychiatrist and no. I'm giving you a pill. No, Let, let's they you. are, they have a truly, I believe that movie is trying to suggest clumsily so, th- that they have like a super, a truly a superpower that they can. They are genetically prone wow. to hypnotize you. They are like X-Men. Yeah. They are like, but here, let's hear the explanation that the movie gives. Which one? Uh, well, which one? Then, which poor, one? Uh, who is, is Alice Braga? Poor Alice Braga has to do so much. at least six full exposition dumps, all of which contradict each it's other absolutely. and are infuriatingly opaque. Here, here is one, maybe the first one. Are you familiar with the concept of hypnotic constructs? <laughs> oh, can you pause for a second, too? Sorry. One of the other things that's wild about the movie is that the hypnotics, that's the rules of the movie, even with all the exposition dumps, are infuriating. What they not only can the hypnotics compel you right. to do things or believe things and, and basically take control of your entire persona or personality, they can also convince you of an artificial world that you're currently oh, living I want, in? Wait, I need to break, I want to talk, I, well, I want I to break talk that down. for an hour about the fact that The Division is basically a, a shitty production company okay. no, I, I, full of okay. dog shit. But the half of these people in The Division are memorizing lines. They look like executives who worked at Target in their they, red I jackets. Down, I wrote down Target too, and then I was like, "No, I'm boycotting this joke." <laughs> Wait, I do want to break down the reveal, but let's just can we just listen please, to the yeah. Yeah. sure, sure. First, it's uh, fortune telling, uh, hypnosis. It's not hypnosis. Hypnotics have abilities far beyond anything we have a name for. Hypnotics. People with the ability to actually influence the brain over a psychic bandwidth. Like telepathy? Telepaths just read the mind. Hypnotics reshape its reality. The guy at the bank. You said he spoke four words to a woman in she undressed. Because she was in on it. No. Those were cues. Sound, voice, locking eyes. Hypnotics use them to make you see a version of the world that doesn't exist. Your behavior conforms with this hypnotic construct. So everything that you see and do feels perfectly normal. How is it that you know so much about these hypnotics? Because I am one. Boom! Bam! Affleck is borderline inaudible. This movie borrows and steals so much from um, Christopher Nolan movies. Yeah. So much so that Affleck's voice is inaudible in the mix. He I is that, basically very close to the brown man. I would say that this... 
I did shit that myself one, four times while watching That one really it slept. You got slept on it at first. That one rippled through. I described this movie to myself, because I wrote it down, as, um, <laughs> as the state that you're in when you are not yet asleep, but not fully awake. It's like that moment where I'm almost asleep. It just has but the But it's not pace. even that interesting. No. This, this movie thinks I'm just thinking it's the pace. fascinating, the- <laughs> and it's a moron. Yeah, and there's something about that really felt like I was back in the pandemic. Like, I felt... <laughs> It is like, a pandemic movie. I know movie. it's a pandemic yeah. movie. And I just, while I was watching it, I was like, it's locked down. Like, it's locked just down. Just so you know, no toilet paper. Like, it isn't scary. truly a pandemic movie. It was going to be shot before the pandemic. Oh. They shut down. And when the pandemic lifted, they went into production. So this is post-pandemic. This might have been, we're wearing some masks on set, but this is, we're back in the world. Okay. People are happy. Okay. I, I also, just... I think the big switch is it was supposed to be shot in L.A. and then they had to shoot it in Texas. And maybe that's what we're getting from Ben. Maybe. (laughs) Well, I would assume it would be Texas because this is clearly Robert Rodriguez's whole setup, right? This is his, what's it called? His, his... He's got a whole, like, studio well, I mean, outside Austin that I believe... Tra- it's like Rebel Productions, but, I mean, Ketchup Production is produ- I producing... I did notice Ketchup Productions was Well, so was you're saying card. that studio has, like, a bank, and that studio has, yes. like, a police department, yes. and that studio has, like... A back lot. <laughs> the division has a back lot. But Why? Here's, okay. here's the crazy thing. Why so does that, the division have a back lot that, of like a New York City street? You're, okay, so if you're the division, have you built all of that just, so, just, to, for, these, just for Ben Affleck? Just for Ben Affleck. Over the last to, four years. Uh, here's the meeting. Here's the meeting. Guys, Whoa. we're pulling you off of all your active Whoa. sewing world chaos missions. We've got, everybody's got roles. They are like places, everybody, places. Everything they do is like they're doing, they're doing like a play. At one point, there were two adults in red blazers just throwing a ball to each other. That was my, I wrote that down. The the basketball guys. But, But this is what doesn't make sense. For some things, like when they go into the bank, the bank is later revealed to be like two pieces of PVC piping with... With bank the word written, bank on it. Right. And, but then the Mexico City oh, is yes. fully built. Like a full... Like, why did they need to fully build that? And then, like, the truck I is fully real. I had to justify that because it was so crazy. And I felt like, you know what happened? There were some red blazers who were like, I want to spend some time in Mexico City. I want... Because they all have to be skilled to a certain degree at set design. Mental no, set design. No, the no, division the, some, is I, the division is like a black ops operator. They're, they're like a, 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 a they I'm are just mercenaries. Saying, and as a side hobby, some what? of them are artistic. No, I'm with June. I'm with June. Every one of them, those two guys playing basketball, they're going basketball, 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 yeah. and Ben Affleck's going oh basketball. That like they're imposing their will. Like, right. they're, so they're they have doing to, to some degree. They have to be creative and artistic to get across the semblance of basketball. This is or where the movie falls. Okay, one of the things that's very important that we've just jumped straight to and have not explained at all is that for so much of the movie, we are watching a police procedural where Ben Affleck and Alice Braga are being chased by Bill Fickner and The Division and blah, blah, blah. Because his daughter was kidnapped. Yes. And, so and it's all related. And it's all related. It's all related. But is it? I mean, because, like, he wants to get, like, his daughter's kidnapped. First of all, he has a relationship with a therapist who calls him by his last name. Rourke. Hey, Rourke. I think that that's pretty, like, I think that that seems rough. I imagine. My therapist calls me Zooks. (laughs) I imagine that he must have introduced himself as Rourke, because I do feel like we see that a lot in movies with cops. Like, it's too feminine to have a first name. Yeah. They only (laughs) go by their last names. (laughs) Just to return to the kidnapping that we open up with, that was the fastest kidnapping I ever did see. And because I was, it didn't exist. And now I know that. Well, he looked at a so pinwheel. Clumsy. 
That he looked at a pinwheel and she was went gone. Like this and turned back. The movie gone. is so clumsy because the and it's so the because the reveal happens so late in the movie that the entirety of the movie you've watched so far is one of these imaginary um, uh, constructs. Yes, the, these constructs that the division has created. They're all in, in his imagination, and he's just walking so around a, vo- a parking lot. <laughs> In the back of the division where everybody's scurrying around in bright red jackets like fucking assholes. So just no, being like, do, okay, but why did they have to be in red jackets? It did it, no, no reason. No reason. Show, no reason. It actually seems like an aggressive color. Red they is looked an, like cater waiters. <laughs> and they looked like an entire fleet of people who I, were like, do you need to valet? I no. was like, why was this choice made? It was the strangest choice because it wasn't scary. It wasn't, um, it didn't feel like, oh, they're blending into the background somehow. Or it made them green. feel less threatening. I, I was this, like, these fucking idiots? Yes. This movie. When River was wearing an eye patch and his crazy gear, I was like, oh, this guy's crazy. When he's wearing his red blazer and red tie, I was like, fuck this idiot. <laughs> I feel like this movie was made on a budget. And someone said, hey, Robert, we can get you 250 red jackets. He's like, perfect, let's do it. He still has that indie rebel without a crew spirit. Get me red jackets. I'll figure out a way to use them. And here's the thing. Um, There is something. So I guess, you know, what's hard about this movie is you watch it for the first hour and 20 minutes. And you're like, ha ha, this sucks. And then, and then they go, no, we know it sucks. And you suck because you fell for it, asshole. Because yeah. like you're like, what's this voice Ben Affleck is doing? It's like, it was a choice. He thinks he's in a noir. Yeah. I know. Oh. And then it was like, okay, I guess joke's on me. I'm in a construct. Like, okay. But Does what it- I couldn't get out of or what I could never find my way out of is like, why can't why is the division going to these lengths? Be- I am confused, and I do want I want oh, you no, to right. explain this to me, but I am confused as to why. Understand he can't be easily hypnotized. Okay, that's okay. <laughs> why did they what do they think they are doing in that construct to get him to reveal They're where trying, his daughter is? They've put him into a situation where he's a policeman trying to find his kidnapped daughter. Right. So okay, inevitably, understood. he will lead them to her by, have, by, by himself solving the mystery. finding the clues. Okay, so when he goes to find that clue, that's a real clue? Real that's clue. That's a clue that he, that he actually left put himself. in a bank? See, yes. he, but where's the bank that he put that in? No, see, what I think what they're trying to do is... In the no, no, no! You're but real. There's no... You're real, right there. That is not. That is that a is parking a lot at the division. But, but in real life, but and in real this, life, this, no, this, not this, a construct. This no, we're chest all of screaming. drawers is just a guy in a red jacket. I know. Yeah. <laughs> and when he's like, he's putting a key in a guy's midsection, and the guy's like. <laughs> the movie. I wish. I want. A, you know what? Gauntlet Throne, Robert Rodriguez. I want a Rosencrantz and Guildenstern are dead style movie from the point of view of the division. And yes. I want to see all these scenes, but with no artifice. Okay, because what we know to be true... Wait, I want to hear you finish this thought, yeah. Okay, so what we know to be true as people not in a construct, we know that Ben Affleck, as a hypnotic has placed a trigger for himself in the Bank of Austin. Correct? Right. Well, yes. So, can I just... No? I don't think, wait, I don't no, think no. so. I, I have an I idea. I don't think wait, so. Wait, June, hold on. I have an idea. Let me... I think I can... See, what's going on in the beginning is he believes he's chasing Bill Fichter, who is essentially standing in for him. They're saying he has... Yes, I understand ...erased that. his yes. memory, and Bill Fichter has put this thing in there. So, I think what they've done is... They followed him around. They found one piece, which was the photo. And they recreate. Where did they find that? Well, maybe they when he was They say it at to... one point. Well, who remembers? The do- oh, that's right. Where? That's the daughter's trigger. They, at the exposition oh, okay. dump. Okay, so there's, there's a final exposition dump. Because 
at the end of the movie, everybody's okay. like, wait, what the fuck just happened? And so, okay. so there's a full, like, I'm going to say nine and a half minute exposition dump yeah. that explains the movie you just saw, which was this. Okay. At a certain point, Ben Affleck and Alice Braga are like, our daughter is being turned into a weapon by the division because she can control people. Great. We have to save her from this. The only way to do that is, is to kidnap her, hide her, yes. erase our own memories, yes. so that right. she. But we're gonna have to wait three plus years yes. because she's she powerful. Get, got for it, her to got get it, powerful got enough it. and yes. in control of her powers, at which point she will begin a series of events that lead to the events of this movie. Wait, wait, wait. By sending, she will. Yes, by sending she that will. picture because she now, is the most she's powerful. Sending she's the, the picture. So okay, so that picture, that Polaroid that he. No. Finds is the domino that un- starts to unlock but his. But where? Memory. Okay, so you're telling me that the girl from that safe the little house, girl, the little girl who's now four years older, has okay, has put that photograph in Lana Del Rey photograph in a bank vault. No, 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 no. The bank vault is a part of the. She, I think she sent it to the division. Yes, she sent it right? to the. That's a, such a bad idea for her. No. No, because it starts, oh, she, she wants them to inevitably come to her. It's the first domino, so she's she starts the ready. chase. She's basically okay, ready and destroyed and the division. And that's why All right, you have that I'm beautiful moment at the end. I'm both in the construct and I'm now out of the construct. I got it. By there, the way, this is, this is you and June are reenacting Robert Rodriguez yeah. pitching this. Yeah. <laughs> and somebody being like... Somebody being like, well, well, I don't know. Maybe when I read the script, it doesn't matter. No script. We don't got a script. It's all in a backyard. <laughs> the whole movie takes place in a backyard. Well, well what about the safety? De- but there are no banks. By the way, can we just look at what the hypnotics have done? They have created <laughs> violent uprisings that shake Wall Street. They are anti-government forces. I don't forces. know that they've done any of this. They are ha- it says uh, coordinated but attacks. But this is Rivers' version of, he says he's reporting on them. He's part of them. This he is, is a this hypnotic is the babe. Inside. But but I think part of it is half truth, half lie, right? I, like babe, no, I think he's you're all in a construct. I think you're I, in a construct. I want to just say this, and I know because we can pick apart a lot of this, and it's the fault of the movie for not making sense. We're right. trying to make sense out of it, and the movie is constantly being like, oh, "Don't look too close at that. Uh, uh, look over here. Look over here." Right. If you say it quick enough. You might just forget it. Like, you might not question, why does uh, Ben Affleck say, I want to get a safety deposit box? They go in, and he's like, oh, I forgot my paperwork. All right. Like, 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 they, no, they, they, that's not what happens. He's, the, he's, I want to get a safety deposit box. They go in. The guy says, I forgot my keys. But Ben Affleck had stolen his keys so that he could open the safety deposit box. This is the, eight, the division, again, Getting him to, to this just get place. to the spot. Yes. Okay, I understand they have to get there, but there are some things that are clunky. Oh, throughout. yes, the whole movie is <laughs> right. Yes. Like well, it's listen, not a smooth you have to operation. Imagine, the whole though, movie is right in. And you which, have to imagine, though, Paul, if you are a hip, I know it seems clumsy, but if you're a hypnotic, your job is not actually to like create a movie, a set, <laughs> right. a do your acting. Like, I think they're doing a wonderful job. Well, and, I, okay. and that's why they're I want to tip my hat to some of the odd choices. There's like one point where he's recollecting how him and his wife were so distraught when his child was kidnapped and figuring prominently in the frame is just a margarita glass, like a, a comically large one. Like, like it's like a... I, I can't wanna... believe our daughter's missing. <laughs> two, two frozen markers, please. Uh, I want to be... Use the Jimmy Buffett machine, please. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be crystal clear just so I think everybody's on the same page. Yes. The totality of this movie takes place at two locations. The Division's back lot. Yes. And the farmhouse, the, what is, looks like a quarry or something... That's the only two places people really are ever. Yes. Yeah, that's true. There is no banks. There's no city. No, there's uh, no Mexico. There's no elevator. There's no elevators. There's but no why apartment. does the elevator have to have like little A one fake button? button? What, what do you need and what do you not need? What, why? You can create I a fucking know. train yard with fucking cars and you can't you can't just imagine an elevator I button also like what i would love is to have seen like all of our hypnotics the red the red blazers like get to decide like are they cast in those roles do they 
How did they do lose they, him? Uh, How did they fucking yeah. hypnotic? Do they have to audition? Yeah, like, I want to be his partner. Make me his partner. I want to be the woman who like, oh, gets I'm in on. a run, runs across the street. No, that woman was and incredible. It, but I don't also... I, I, well, first of all, it would have been great if they revealed the head of the hypnotics was like... Um, Max from Rushmore, the main character. He's like, this is his main, like, you know how he used to build, build what's, those sets? <laughs> what's really, yeah, yeah, that would be very funny. Because he was wearing a red blazer yeah. too, right, in Rushmore? <laughs> what, what I really wanted, what I really what blew my mind was so much of the movie you spend primarily with William Fickner, but then also Alice Braga, with two people who are consistently using this hypnotic power a power they have over people to command them, to get them to kill each other, blah, 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 okay? And so you're like, okay, I live in a world in which at least very clearly this is a power set that exists. But once the twist happens, all those people that have been killed are now alive. So nobody was hypnotized by a hypnotic. Bill Fickner didn't successfully do any of that stuff. (laughs) All of those examples of what hypnotics can do we're fake. Wow, Jason. And that really No, undid. no. Yes, uh, yes. yes no. Well, hold on. That was all yes, acting. Yes, That's people but acting. They were acting. But, it's, but uh, yes, I understand. But it's like, it's like saying death of a salesman is fake. Yes, but salesmen exist and then they get depressed that they don't sell enough stuff <laughs> and they kill themselves. Like, that is true. So... I think what they're doing is writing a play based on their own experiences. Wait, whoa, whoa. Can we rewind that? (laughs) Hypnotics are creating a play, but it's based on the things that they can and can do. Like the way that we wrote the play, (laughs) Death of a Salesman. A salesman is a concept that we all understand that exists. Okay. And sometimes you'll get depressed if you don't sell enough stuff. But here's and then you'll kill yourself. <laughs> That's the thing. Paul, what you're saying, yeah. wait, it's a little different, if I may, than Death of a Salesman. We all understand what the American dream is, which is what that play is about. And if you're so we all have an understanding. So when we watch that. We all understand whether we're salesmen, whether we're a- a- anything. Yes, whether- wh- whatever we want to do in our lives, we understand the pain of not being able to take care of our families, that the world, feeling outside of a world moving faster than we can and that we can't keep up and making those difficult decisions and being having personally failed ourselves. I don't know. I haven't That's seen it. That's different from but like, we don't I have haven't a concept. seen it. We, he we, just we, said he hasn't seen it. What the hell's going on? All I'm what I'm is saying, that- Paul, is that we all understand the idea of an, and the American dream. We all have that cultural understanding. We don't have a cultural understanding and an understanding of what it is to be a hypnotic. So what Jason is saying is absolutely true. And, 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 and June, I do hear what you're saying, and I appreciate you explaining it to me, but I think you're missing my point, which is this. Death of a salesman... <laughs> He's going to say the same exact thing. Let him go. Let me. Let him go. Is, Can he get a spotlight? <laughs> Death of a Salesman is a play for who? The American audience or worldwide audience who understand what the American dream is. Ben Affleck is a hypnotic. This is a play for one person. He understands what the hypnotics are. So the way that an American audience understands the American dream, that play is for them. This play is for hypnotic. He understands, oh, right, I can mentally control this shit. Like, so, yes, William Fichter okay, is so not actually... Movie- wait, wait, wait. But William Fichter is not actually doing it, but he can do it because in that reality, he's, a, he's just going to go on like, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, he's triggering his mind. But but remember, I- remember, it's remember time. I agree with... <laughs> That's the t-shirt. It's remember time. It's remember time. Oh, it's remember time somewhere. You want a drink? It's remember time somewhere. My point, though, Paul, is a movie that spends so much time with so many people exhibiting a superpower that you then say at the midway or further than the midway point, actually, they've never done any of this. They, they can, 
Believe me, you. They or, can. Okay, by but the everybody way, we've Jason, seen in their thrall is acting like they're in their thrall. Now I can't believe this, but I have a different theory. Not yours and not yours. Paul, you're just absolutely wrong. Like, there's no... Uh, first of all, there's... That makes no sense. What do you the mean? Idea, the I, idea that they would create a movie for one of the characters they in the did. movie? That's what they did do. No, no, they, okay. That's, that's well, the, I understand uh, that the that's construct. I the understand construct that that's for what Affleck. happened. Yes. But what I am saying is I, th- I believe that everybody in the construct, every red blazer, is probably actually being hypnotized within the construct. So I don't thank think you. so. Well, I do. Because? Because I do think they're killing themselves, and I do think that they are getting erased multiple times. So if you are a red blazer and you're there, like, your mind is not your own. So so Bill Fichter is controlling everybody? Full, I don't think so. No, definitely not, because Alice Braga has the same. Look, the reason why Ben Affleck has the power of a hypnotic, right? Alice Braga has the power of a hypnotic. They fuck, they make a baby who's super powerful. That's the whole thing. So everyone in that red blazer is a hypnotic. This is a small grouping of people who put on plays, also create Brexit and it's do whatever. Not that, it's not but that small of a group. But that's my thing is, I, can't, I don't think they are ever... I, 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 this, yes. is this is why the movie's bad. This is why the movie's bad. In their, like, let's jump back before all the events of this movie, right? Let's say the event, prior to the events of this movie, when Ben Affleck and Alice Braga are themselves agents within the division, right? right? Okay. What is the division doing then? Are they bringing people in the Mexico City back lot to do stuff? No, 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 no. They're out in the world, James doing, Bonding right. stuff into but they, chaos. But they lost their most powerful weapon. Correct. The girl, right? So Correct. they have to take a break from... All of them going out, they're like, all right, so everybody, this, come this back, come saying. back. This is what I'm saying. They're taking all these field agents out. It's like the CIA being like, we're pulling you back. Here is a script. You're going to be a police partner. You're going to be a bank teller. You're but gonna- it probably takes 12 hours. They've done it like 12, 12 They've times. done it 12. This is a fucking here's nightmare. my question. It's not, been years. I, it, the girl been a- aged four years. No, 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 this no. This is what they've been doing for four years. I no no. I think no. Project. They started doing this when she got the when they got the photo. Yes, but they've been in pre-production for three years. Yeah, probably. These motherfuckers are building sets. Yeah, that they're, is. They're true. learning lines. They're auditioning but, for the. T- I don't want to be the teller. Can't I be the partner? Why? Well, clear, why, why does they're Nick's, clearly playing multiple roles? Why does you, Nick's have to say? Why do they have to say the same lines every time? Look. I why mean, does he have to say like, "Did you wipe your shoe before you got in the golf cart"? But they yet, don't even have cars. But yet the van. The blood on golf carts. <laughs> but they the van well is real. <laughs> Did anybody go back and rewatch to see if any of the same actors were being used no, as background weren't. in the other scenes, like the diner had people? Hundreds are they... of people in Mexico City. Right. Hundreds. There, no, because so everyone can construct a couple Jason. more. Dozens. No, go There's like pull 10 up, of them pull together. Up Mexico City, ten, please. 10 of them Paul. together hold I, each other by the waist, and that's a train. <laughs> well, that's the thing is. That's the thing is. They can get you to imagine, is the, is, and there are no rules, and that's what's hard, even though there's so much exposition. They, they, can, they can build a construct, they can build a house, but they can't put people inside of it. They need breathing, living people to be in. They can't make you imagine a conversation with someone, you have to have the conversation. Right. They can make you imagine Well, that's the why where. this makes it even more confusing because Jackie Earl Haley seems to be an ally who then is revealed to be Bill Fichter, but, but like it would have been better if Bill Fichter didn't reveal that he, was, he killed him. Well, but they, but they figure it out. Alice Braga figures it out, and she's like, wait a minute. But it wouldn't have been better for the... The story oh, oh, of oh, absolutely. of Ben Affleck's character, like a real movie, <laughs> that would have been cool to figure it out. But what the hypnotics are doing seems like, oh, why are you upending your own shit? Well, like, here's you know, what's it's like, really confusing. Okay, so let's talk about the post-credit scene. Yes, because post-credits. 
So at many points in the movie, people seem to be jumping into each other's bodies and just taking over physical space. And then at points, other people are jumping into each other's bodies and are right there when another person was there. Now, once we realize what's going on, as much as we can understand it, it's clear that, oh, that was all a part of a construct and they were just hopping in and hopping out to their parts, except for that last scene. So in the last scene, we see the dad is on, is walking, and then all of a sudden the scene changes and the camera moves and we realize he's actually dead. Now, my question is this. At that moment, what, we are no longer in the construct. So how are they switching bodies? Okay, so okay. they, okay. So there is no body switching in this movie. It's just full mental. Stop. Hold like, on, I, hold okay. on, hold on. Full stop. There is no body switching. What there is yes. is masking. They are convincing you I look like the person you think you... We're having a conversation, but I am... I look like Jason. Yes. The, the hypnotics are using their power to make you think you're seeing a different person. Okay, but in the construct, in the, the no, people no, in the red blazers... No, no, construct, take out the construct out. Because that's what's... They don't need to be in a construct. The construct... The construct is just for Ben Affleck. Yes. We are only ever in the construct in the movie. Well, no. Uh, no. When are we out of the construct? At the la- in the post credit scene, for one. In the back lot. Okay, so well, that's wait, my well, question. I guess, no, I guess the idea is this. In the Hypnotics lot, create not a construct. Right. So if I wanted to create a construct for you that I was Jason and you were talking to Jason, that would be a construct that I, the hypnotic, would be creating for you. So it, you don't need to be anywhere. You don't have to be on the back lot. I am all powerful. These people, the 36 of them, are all around the country doing that all the time. It's like, oh, I thought I was in a bathroom. Yes, yes, no, yes, you're yes, at Walt yes. Disney World. You know, it's like that. <laughs> so, so, when, so basically, okay. Bill Fickner has gotten here first, killed Jackie Earl Haley, and but he's he's this he, scene, yes, this scene, yes, yes. So, and then he, when they arrive, he's making it appear to them as if he is, but Jackie Earl. But Earl hold Haley. on, Jason. He's not in but, Jackie but, Earl Haley's body. He's just. It's as if he's wearing a mask of this. How person. do you know that he's killed him? He says it. Yeah, oh, but okay. but well, that's good. you'd have to also. But you'd also have to say. <laughs> That not this is clumsy. Yes. To be clear, this is not like what okay, you'd have to say is like Bill Fichter got there first, but then Alice Braga also. Like I don't think that you need to like kill somebody to take over. I think Alice Braga can be on the other side of the door and do that fist pump, and then become the woman who makes the tamales. Oh yeah, yes. who's then in a closet? Right. That's, then, that I have questions. About. I don't know how she. <laughs> how did she get what her was she in the doing? closet? Was she right in front tamales? of Jackie Earl Haley? But she was making tamales. She, she wore laundry, she, and he when said she there's was tamales in the, in the fridge, and I don't think Jackie Earl Haley is making tamales. But when she was in the closet and they opened the door, it looked make, like she was once making... Once again, no, she was this is sand all construct. She's making a sandcastle? Yeah, because they go, she's like on a... Like this? She yes. said that she's on a beach making a sandcastle. Yes, Alice Braga has said she's on... A, again, that's in a construct. They're in a construct. That's where the movie is yeah. a real okay. fuck you. So because now we're ev- cutting to the end because the end we're not in a construct. Correct. So no, no, no. Ex- everything is a. Co- anytime a hypnotic uses their power, it is a construct. No, it's not like I don't it's- think that's true. What? I don't think that's true. I don't I think, think that's that, true I, either. Well, because I mean, like, I want to just because to say that would mean. What you you are implying that that last scene they are making a construct for no one. For well, who? For us, the audience at home? Well, yeah. Yeah, that's part of it. Part of it is oh. that they're cheating all the time in the movie for us, the viewer. They're cheating the rules right. of the movie so that we don't... The movie is joyless in the sense that each time I was like, oh, I guarantee it's this. And it was. I was like, oh, yeah, because it's dumb. It's not satisfying. You're not, it's not satisfying to be ahead of it or figure it out. But anyway, do you, but do but you believe that a const... Like, I believe that hypnotic... This is my understanding of it. A hypnotic creates a oh construct God. that I you believe a insane. certain reality. They rewrite your reality. That's, that's what the hypnotic's power is. Okay, so I, I think I see what you're saying, right. and I, I think you're right. It's I just think, terminology. I think I thought of construct as this 
reality that they occupy that they are inside of. But I do think the hypnotics can convince you you're, you are someone else, make you sign something, walk away. I don't think that's a construct. I think that's just a hypnotics power. They are able to convince you of something else. The construct is the immersive world they have him inside of. Okay, but All I, right. but I, I think the two are absolutely I, I, well, okay. Right, so uh, but right, so we can we can tomato tomato, <laughs> uh, but we can agree that hypnotics can do multiple things. They can make you do anything. They can make you see anything, and they can make you believe that you're in a place that you're not. In the sense that the young girl, the most powerful, the second most powerful is Bill Fichter, right? But the most powerful girl has made them believe that they flew their helicopters to a small farmhouse and saw this now that's not a construct because they didn't build a fake farmhouse they were just in a a, abandoned house where she was living well i think it is a construct they oh so they need to build the construct is like it's almost like the ai or something you know like okay so whenever they want to do a a bigger uh uh uh, uh, what's it called a mind palace okay so whenever they want to do a bigger construct you need like you need some scaffolding some real life scaffolding and then you can make people really believe they're somewhere. Yeah. That's what I think a construct I, I think is. That's it. I think that's it. It's really like you are putting a skin on the, on the reality and saying, I'm this person or you're in this other place. Yeah. When in reality, what was interesting, it's a real, it's almost a total recall. This movie is almost a total recall in the what's real and what's not. Is he really, is he still well, at it's, recall? It's, or like is ma- he- it's like the Matrix. I was trying to see if anyone had written anything about constructs and hypnotics. No, constructs. surprisingly. <laughs> Why no, but, would they? <laughs> but so to, I'm but, sorry but, to but head back the to the Matrix, last right? scene again. The Matrix, but- <laughs> the Matrix, everybody is in the pod of goo. But they are like, oh, I'm working. I'm going to the club. Someone's knocking on my door. Uh, the boss needs That's something. That's why I loved when it, it, the movie would have made so much sense, so much more sense, if Ben Affleck was only in the white room where, right. he, where if, yeah. if, yes. he, if he only exists in the white room and everything else is a construct for him to mentally engage with. That's not what this movie does. This movie yeah. says we need him up and moving around. And it, as a result, we have to build an infrastructure like around thing. him. I don't we know if I ever made it. you go on this thing, but it's like that Star Wars VR thing where you put on these VR goggles and you, you have to fucking fight Darth Vader and you're walking over fire pits. But if you sneak a peek under your VR glasses, you're just in a little room. And, and you know, there's this little squishy part and then, you know, like it feels hot. That would make more sense. And you're yeah. right. The Matrix is the absolute gold standard of what that is. This right. is a movie that is essentially a simulation. A construct right. is a simulation. Create, but the, the human computer is yeah. controlling it. Yes, yeah. The mind. <laughs> Death of a salesman. <laughs> and boy, that's the death. Boy, and cut all of what we just did out. This uh, is really something. Yeah. When you think about actually how much work went into so little act, like well, the movie is driving and car chases and gunfights and bank robberies. And it's like full and rooftop executions and all of this adventure. And then when you realize all of it just took place in a hundred square foot back, the parking lot in the back of an industrial facility run by the division where everybody's an actor. I was like, I can't handle this. There's so many. I wrote there's so many sets and so much acting. It makes this movie and the division seem absurd. The division immediately became not a threat. To me, when I realized most of what they were doing was bad acting, I was like, oh, these guys aren't bad at all. I don't like th- these guys are going to be easily yeah. beaten between the Blazers and their acting and the fact that they just exist on set. See, I actually thought they were pretty good actors. <laughs> I did, too. But like that whole I- that whole idea when they put the young girl when she was, I guess, how old do you- we want to say she is now? Seven. I think she's around seven or eight now. Okay, So say she was like three or four. When they did that, like that remembering where she was uh, in that room and she had all the dominoes lined up and she's like, plink, plunk, plink. And everyone's like, you know, like their hands are going up, they're falling over, she's killing people with her mind. Like that whole thing, 
everyone's like, whoa, she's so good at three. We had to go to the back lot for a couple months and work on our characters. Like, I feel like that's like, you know, like that's like, it's like, it's like watching Michael Jordan. You're like, that's basketball. Like, that's what I... And but what she's doing is not acting. Like, that's where the disconnect is I, for me. I don't, I, <laughs> I don't think the division is about acting. <laughs> except for this one case where they need information from Ben but Affleck. it is. When it's they're all create, about acting, though. When it they're doing be, Brexit. But... When they're creating Brexit, they are... <laughs> But acting. That, but no, they're not. not real. They're not acting there. It's not real. Then what that, is the division doing? The, we don't so, know. We don't know. That's where the movie's <laughs> a failure. Do you guys think? It never, no. It, Do you guys no. think the division Paul, is Paul, doing Paul, this? Paul, Paul, Paul. They're not doing Brexit by, I hope you don't think that they're, they're so in chaos worldwide by creating these little sets and doing it that way. That's not what's no, happening. No, I think they would go up to like Donald Trump and be like, hey. Yes, that's with their mind control. Yeah. But they're not acting there. They're doing their hypnotic work. This yes. acting stuff is like they're doing despite this the fact is that like they, Professor wait, they have but no wait, desire Draw to do the it. line. Draw the line for me because here's what I'm saying. If, if you are... Okay. If you are Willie Loman <laughs> yes. and Paul is and half. And I'm You're Willie Loman. Up. Paul is half. Paul, you know the plague. Of Go course. ahead. <laughs> I'm sorry. Go ahead. What were you going to um, say? I was going to say this. <laughs> the idea that um, they can do masking, in my mind, means that they're always acting. Because if I'm telling you that you're talking to Jason, you're but saying. you're talking to me, I'm acting As like Jason. Jason. Yes, I'm saying. using parts of your memory, but I'm also going to go, you know, like, I'll use my body and I'll, like, I'm in my body. I'm, I don't know. think Here's that's what I'm true, gonna say. actually. Yeah. Here's what I'm going to say. I disagree. And again, okay. I'm, Please. We're, we're parsing very thinly a movie that is clunky and clumsy. So we're doing work for the movie that I don't think the movie has really examined. Okay. That being said, I don't think the hypnotics are acting at all. They're making you think that it, the hypnotic by placing... They're in your mind, uh, Charles Xavier style, okay. making you think you're having a conversation with June, even though I'm the one doing it. I'm not acting like, I don't have to act like June. I'm so you're just, your you're just triggering her memories, okay, and you're manipulating the memories, okay. Yes. To be what yes. you want them to be. You can make anybody do, when, when a hypnotist. So they're all Charles Xavier, that's different. But, but the, and the They're not mystique. The right. difference is, I don't know who oh, all those... Oh, yeah, good, yeah, good, 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 yes, yes. Okay. Yes. Oh, God. I don't know about any of that, but I know that... <laughs> but I know that they are, though, that is their job as hypnotics. However, Ben Affleck can't be hypnotized. Well, recently, because he has a mental block, because he, first of all, he well, erased... Until recently, that's right. But, but I guess what I'm saying is they must show up as actors in that construct. So they are not, the, all of the red, this is where oh. it gets so slippery. All of the red blazers are Just like Death of a Salesman. Oh my God. I, I, I need to oh go to the audience God. here. I need to hear what the audience has to say about this. I'm going to go out there. I, I don't know what we've talked about. This is the about. kind of movie that like, we spend all of our time arguing how, what it is Rather than like we've talked about zero plot. Well, because it's a movie, it's a movie that actively tells you if you have any issues with the plot, it doesn't make doesn't, doesn't matter, matter because it didn't happen. Yeah, and that none sucks. Of it's real. I just want I am going to get to a bunch of questions, but I just want you to put your hand up if you think you can succinctly explain it better than what we have done. Okay. Yeah. Oh, Here wait. we go. Your name again? Jose. Jose. Okay. This is your chance. It's your moment. Don't be nervous. He's going. I'm not even going to. Let's just hear him out. Okay. And then oh, yeah. we can. Take we, your time. Take your time. Here we go. Go for it. Okay. So they have to start. From... How dare you? <laughs> <laughs> so every time they restart, they have to start from base zero where he doesn't remember anything. So he doesn't remember how powerful he is but they have to trigger him to remember that he does have this power. So that's why they have these small little instances to break with the continuity of the scenario that they're creating. Like so, the oh, so they need the moment of, uh, of 
the Mexico switcheroo yeah. because like, oh, he's getting he's getting his powers back. Yeah. So then he starts to remember that he has powers. So then he can start turning and then gaining power so that he can tell them where the daughter is. Respectfully, Jose, I think the, the With so much the respect, division, Jose. So With much. So much respect. The division doesn't want Ben Affleck to remember he's a hypnotic because then that's closer to him realizing, oh, I hid her and I don't want you to find her. I they want him to think he's logic. just a detective finding his daughter. But which, how could he ever find he her? He has the one clue, which is the photo. But okay. that clue is going to lead him back to his actual reality, which is that he hid her. Okay, which, is, which is the daughter's, which is his own plan. Which but, is Ben Affleck's plan. All right, next question. Wait, is Oshoni here from Discord? Did you already ask? Did you already ask? Oh, no, you didn't. Okay. This is a good question. I think it feeds right into this. All right. You submitted your question on Discord, so I could know that this is going to be a good question. Here we go. Go for it. Uh, yeah, so what would cause more childhood trauma to a young girl? Yeah. The scenario where she becomes a psychic weapon for the, just the people, or she doesn't grow up with her parents and then kills doesn't. <laughs> and and she seems like she knows exactly what's going to happen that day he's like are you ready and she's like yep <laughs> i'm wearing my black and white polka dot domino dress and Let's i'm ready go. to cause a bunch of people to kill each other so that i we like can- any i like when <laughs> when ben affleck looked at his partner he's like and the guy's like <laughs> <laughs> what a terrible way to go. But then I thought that was terrible, but then Bill Fichter shoots himself in the belly. He was like, bang, bang, bang. And oh. what's sad is that that's actually Jeff, Jeff Fahey, Fahey, which is heartbreaking. So sad. But when did the switch happen? We'll never know. This movie but- is bolstered so much by an incredible supporting cast of some of our greatest character yeah. actors. I also Bill think- Fichtner, Jackie Earl Haley, Jeff yeah. Fahey. This is home run city. Truly. Obviously, we have opinions about this movie, but there are people out there with a different opinion. It is now time, I hope, for second opinions. Does anyone have second opinion theme? Anyone? You got it. All right, there we go. All right, what's your name, sir? Uh, I'm Hassan. Hassan, uh, welcome. Okay, I'm going to get... Oh, yeah, what do you... I, I've been a fan uh, since I was in the eighth grade, and I'm 25 now, so wow. I Wow. Just... I love it. Thank you for entertaining me half my life. I buy uh, the, the best. I am so excited to be uh, here. <laughs> that is chilling. Wow. I can't imagine listening to a podcast in eighth grade. Ladies and gentlemen, Hassan! I believe I'm a cop, but in reality, I'm really not. Think about my daughter every night and day. Oh God, where did she go away? Oh wait, I just had a thought. She's not kidnapped at all. I had her hidden away for this very special day where I can kill the division. And that is my second opinion. Yes! Hassan! 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 Hassan, a listener since eighth grade, comes up with a second opinion song on the spot. We should be required wow. reading, required curriculum, not that stupid death of a salesman. All right. Do you have one? Yeah. Do you? You don't want to You want to go? That, okay. That, that's you fine. You can bail if you, you want. You can bail. But we'll support you regardless. You'll Let's do it. Let's do it. Come on, folks. We will not critique How it. old were you when you started listening, <laughs> gray-haired man? <laughs> I don't know, 35? 35? <laughs> Gross. <laughs> What's your name? My name is Ned. Ned. All right, Ned, uh, I'm, ex- I'm excited. Ned or, you- or Nick? Ned. Ned, thank you. Ned, I'm excited for this because the amount of self-awareness that you felt 
like, I don't know if I can follow that means that you're a good person. Most people don't care. They're like, fuck, Mike, let's go. So I, I regardless of this. I wrote, I wrote this, three verses and six choruses. Let's yeah. do this. So already, Ned, you're good in my book. So uh, obviously people have a different opinion. It's now time for second opinions. Please welcome Ned. Ben Affleck can't recall a single thing at all like his powers. Alice Braga tries to help, but she's an easy act too about everything. Oh, news and a thick nerd, dominoes, ream backs, jackets. This is just scanners without exploding heads, and we don't care. We don't care. But maybe someone thought that this movie was genius just because it was made by Robert Rodriguez, but we don't care. We don't care. And why did I decide to spend $20? Maybe this movie hypnotized all of us. I'm like, wow. We need a second opinion now. All the salesmen are dead. Yes! Give it up for Ned! Amazing! Ned! 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 Woo! Amazing! Drop dead, Ned! Honestly, if only... If only... Um, Team Fred. If only... The division had Hassan and Ned to write their little plays. I just want to be at, like, I wish the movie had featured a scene at Division HQ where they were like, I think we should put a song in there. <laughs> Wait, what? I, I would have loved the goes to number. a karaoke bar. Yeah. Maybe, goes Maybe there's concert. new music out. I could sing. Karen, I could sing is a this song. just because you want to sing? <laughs> I would have loved to see the people who played the newscasters. Um, all right. We combined some reviews. Some are from Amazon. Some are from Letterboxd, my favorite uh, social media site here. Uh, but I'll give you the stats so far. Like I said, this is a pretty new movie. Uh, right now on Amazon, uh, there are 109 reviews. Uh, and 49% are five-star. All right, so there we go. Uh, and um, the average rating on Letterboxd of 12,000 reviews, 52% are five-star. All right, so there we go. And uh, this one started by uh, Musa Chardry. I know this movie doesn't deserve five stars, but this dumb movie made me cry. Cry? Because of its genuine sincerity as it unravels a mystery that doesn't matter to unlock the emotional truth of the human experience and crashes with that filmmaking process in ways that it just did something to my soul. Rodriguez is having a blast as he piles on twist upon twist which he distorts reality on a whim and then waits for a house of cards to topple. It's a meathead inception, but I prefer this low-budget, weirdly textured attempt over Nolan's self-serious pretension <laughs> on explaining itself, but there's no ambiguity left. Rodriguez doesn't give a shit if it makes sense. He just True. wants to make something weird and interesting while dissecting the filmmaking process and intersecting that with a genuine narrative arc that really worked. I love this. Five stars. I mean, yeah. There, that person is right in the sense that I don't think Robert Rodriguez is examining it at all to the degree that we have tried to do no. tonight. He wrote it in one weekend and was like, let's shoot it. Um, Frank Post... <laughs> in the parking lot behind my house. <laughs> Frank Post uh, 611 writes, This movie was terrific from start to finish. I was on the edge of my seat the entire time. The film was confusing, but you'll understand it by the end. The plot twists are crazy and unexpected. It was so well written. The acting was superb. I suggest watching it high. Yes. I can't disagree with that. There's a mid credit scene that affects the entire movie. And my friend and I were the only ones in our theater who saw it. Five stars. Wow. Uh, and then uh, this one, this one from Eagles fan, it uh, says, this was a really good movie. Very unexpected plot twists and turns. I do wish it was a bit longer, though. 
I believe there will be a sequel. Five stars. Wow. And, uh, and then <laughs> this one, I just want to read the title. I expected less, but I was given more. <laughs> Stand up claps. <laughs> Five stars. Wow. There it is. I mean, people uh, love this movie. I'll give you just a little bit of uh, quick research on it. This movie came out May 11th, 2023. The budget was $65 million. No. Why? Where? Ben Affleck. Uh. Opening weekend, $2 million. I'm serious. Where is that money? Computer screens. Worldwide gross, $6 million so far. Uh, a little rough, a little rough. The screenplay was something that Robert Rodriguez came up with in 2002. So it was one of his favorite stories. And uh, it just came back to it. And uh, in uh, some of the translations of this movie in different countries, uh, dormant mutiny, <laughs> construction, <laughs> mind hunting, hypnotic attack, and manipulators. Uh, those are some of the titles. And uh, I guess the question is to both of you, would you recommend it? Huh. <laughs> it, it's something to see, all right. Uh, I mean, it's $20. Paul and I right purchased now. it separately. We've what? Spent- you bought it too? <laughs> we talked about this last night. I only didn't rent it because if we both... Oh. <laughs> You were on a phone call. I had to start watching it. And I had only my computer with me. And yeah, I bought it. We're on a family share plan. I know because I pay for your dateline. Hey. <laughs> I don't know why all of a sudden everything you buy, I have to buy it on my credit card. <laughs> I see every housewives. I'm like, Do we have Hulu. Want us to step we have out? Peacock. <laughs> we can step out if you want. The movie was so shocking to me. Uh, that I do recommend it because it was, I couldn't believe when I, when those golf carts came out, well, I, mean, I yes. laughed so hard. Yes. I was literally, because it just, it's like, it's one thing to reveal it's on a back lot. It's another thing to put all those people in golf carts. like And red blazers. And red blazers. But you can't not look a fool in a golf cart. There's no way to ride in one where nope. you, you're you just Especially foolish. when you see the first scene where there are cops and his partner pulls up and he's like, hey, did you wipe your shoes? Blah, blah, blah. And, he, and they're doing cop banter. And then you see the whole scene play out again, except his partner's in a red blazer and they're in a golf cart. <laughs> And you're like, you're telling me an hour into this movie, it's less cool? Yeah, it was just hilarious. So I would recommend it for that reason. It's pretty shocking. Yeah. I I am a fan of Robert Rodriguez. I I was about to say this as well. Really incredible. And as someone who has whose entire career has unfolded during the period of time in which I was paying attention to movies, you know? And so his whole story from from making the El Mariachi and all that stuff. His, his story is interesting. The yeah. El Rey Network, the, story, the show he had where he interviews directors, oh, I loved. So um, I think he's an incredibly interesting, incredibly inventive uh, filmmaker. And there's a lot of that at play in here. And that's what makes it worth... I feel like all the effort we've gone to to try and figure this movie out is because there is a movie in this movie. Yeah, There's something here. Well, it's just so... So, <laughs> forgive me, Robert Rodriguez, it's so dumb <laughs> that it just, I couldn't get, it just is like insurmountable that the slightest degree, but boy, I had fun watching it's it. It's fun. And I 100% think people should watch yeah. it. And I'll just say this too, just to go on the Robert R- Rodriguez train, I agree with everything you said. I think that the interesting thing about him is he has actively not taken a, part in the Hollywood system at all, right? And the movies he makes are in the vein of like a Roger Corman weird, like he's he's still doing the weird shit. And I feel like that's, and but he's doing it on his own terms and I do love it. And he's made some great kid movies that are Speaking awesome. Speaking of the yeah. connection between tonight and last night, do we know it? Uh, Julie Corky is the star of Spy Kids. Yes. 
a Robert oh. Rodriguez directed series. So yeah, like there is there is a connection there. But I think yeah, the kid stuff he does is interesting. We I can think be heroes is legitimately great. I think Alita yeah, Battle is. Angel was really oh, good. Oh, I love like, that. I think Robert Rodriguez is fascinating. And this movie, even though we spent all of this time trying to make it make sense, it still was a blast. I wrote in my notes so often, ha ha ha, this is fun. <laughs> Yeah, I ha, also ha, this feel is dumb. like I'm having a great time. I don't know if Robert Rodriguez uh, smokes weed, but I will say this: I loved Alita: Battle Angel. I saw that in a half-empty theater in IMAX and 3D, and I was like, "Yes!" But I could see him directing that and like looking around at like scaffolding and being like, "What if that was a movie?" And that's what it feels like. The guy who directed Alita Battle one? Angel going like, this yeah. whole thing. So here's, I just want to say, one, I want to say one thing about the back lot before we wrap it up. <laughs> because, okay, so the back lot, some of the scaffolding and the infrastructure there, it said like police, bank, but not all of those fonts and signs corresponded to what he saw. So were those signs just for our actors? Maybe. <laughs> or, or honestly, Maybe. honestly, what it really is, is for us, the audience at home. So much of what's being shown to us is not for the people in the movie. It's for yeah. the audience at home, whether to misdirect you or yeah. whether to clue you into and make a connection that the but movie itself what, hasn't made. What a dangerous game to play for an hour and 20 minutes to be like, you're watching a shitty movie. Yeah. Like, and... Wait, wait like, is this it? Is yeah, there, are you about the, to show the... Um, the I, I don't have I don't have. You don't have any con- yeah. backlog back No, stuff. sadly, no. Uh, but, uh, yeah. I mean, that's the dangerous game in a time of streaming. Just to be like, I'm going to wait for an hour or so before I let them in <laughs> uh, on this. Because there's reveal- not even like a, a matrixy like... <laughs> Like, it's like, that no. reveal should have, it happens in the middle of Act Two, and it absolutely should have happened at the beginning of Act Two. Yeah, that yeah. reveal so that the rest of the movie was a sprint through. Because what basically happens is it happens so late as to when they put him back under, he immediately comes back out. Right, and we don't get to enjoy him a version of it him out. with that. Him figuring it exactly. out Thank and you. trying yes. to rescue himself from that reality. And there would have been go. 20 yeah. pages. Imagine 20 pages where he's, oh, it's like lucid dreaming, where he's aware of the construct inside of the construct and monkeying with it. That's, an, that's a set piece that would be really interesting. But it, the movie doesn't do that, and that's too bad, because I yeah. would have liked and, But that. that's also a lot of acting for Ben Affleck to do. <laughs> And that's our show. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for coming out. That's our show live from Largo. If you want to remember this show for the rest of your life, well, then head on over to tpublic.com to get your own hypnotic T-shirt. That's right. We made one from that live show. It's a sad Ben Affleck with the title, It's Remembering Time. You can pick that up right now. It is on sale Check out all of our designs, which can be made into coffee mugs and T-shirts and hoodies and whatever you want. Public, they've been doing us right for a very long time. And a couple of big announcements. You know that How Did This Get Made is going on the road. The Balcony Monster Tour is on the East Coast in August, but we've added a show. We've added a show to New Jersey. We've never been in New Jersey. We're going to be live in Red Bank on August 11th. I want to say something. To everybody out there in Jersey, we are finally coming to Jersey. We haven't even gone to Long Island. We respect you more than Long Island. And June and I are from Long Island. But if you have any connections to the Smod Castle Cinemas, let me know because maybe we could figure out a way to screen the movie that we are going to do at that show before. We can have a little uh, Smod Cast synergy or something. I don't know. Get your tickets now. They are selling out very quickly. One Boston show is already sold out. We have a special guest for the 8th. That's right. A special Boston guest. You don't want to miss it. Also, how did this get made all-star? So what I'm saying is this. Come to one show. Come to all the shows. Every night is completely different. We can't wait to see you there. We have so much in store. We don't even know yet. That's how much we have in store. Anyway, 
Make sure that you are following us all on social media. That's where we release all the good info. And you follow me on YouTube to see all the Matinee Monday information that you need. And we'll have an update about Stitcher Premium very shortly. Right now, we're just getting our ducks in a row. I am bummed that Stitcher Premium is not there. I don't know what we're going to do with our back catalog yet. But as soon as we have an official answer, I will let you know. And now let's get into our big thank yous. I'm talking about the amazing producerial work of Scott Sonny, Molly Reynolds, and our movie-picking producer, Avril Halley. People, they make the trains run, and we love them. So, we will see you next week for Last Looks, and until then, bye for now.